Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy, and I just got out of the shower to bring you guys some NFL breaking news. That's why my hair looks so weird. So the Arizona Cardinals are signing former running back James Conner of the Pittsburgh Steelers, adding him to the backfield with Chase Edmonds per at Jay Glazer should help fill the void left by the departure of Kenyon Drake. So what does this mean? First, for the Arizona Cardinals. Now, the Cardinals were a team that I thought had the potential to use their 16th overall pick, I believe they have, in the draft on Najee Harris. I thought that there's a potential that they might just go ahead and draft their future running back with the first pick they have in the 2021 NFL Draft. Why would they do that? Because, to me, Najee Harris is a weapon that will help this offense immensely. Kyler Murray can dump the ball off to him. He can hand the ball off to him. This guy is a kind of... Two, he can do both things. He can rush the ball as well as get some nice receiving yards. So he's he's very, very good. He's not a one-trick pony who can just rush the ball. Now, will they end up drafting a guy? Obviously, there's running backs that go later in the draft. But in the second round, when they're picking, are they going to be able to get a guy like Travis Etienne, a guy like Javante Williams? Or does this kind of sure up the running back room? And maybe they don't draft the running back until much later in the NFL draft. James Conner, to me, is one of those guys that actually has an immense amount of talent, but I'm not sure will ever be the guy for the Cardinals due to injury history. This guy just seems like he gets hurt all the time, and that obviously is not going to make up for some very big playing time. Now, what do I think about this for fantasy football, frankly, right now? I don't know. I don't know because I like Chase Edmonds a whole lot, but the possibility of them bringing in a running back like James Conner was very possible because they were talking to him yesterday, and the opportunity for them to draft someone was also very possible. So when I made a video a couple days ago talking about Chase Edmonds, I wasn't super on board because I knew that there was a situation where something like this happens. Now, is James Conner the one to draft out of the two? To me, yes, he would be the guy that I pull the trigger on much more early, but I think it's going to be a lot of what we saw last year. But the thing is, Kenyon Drake really wasn't getting it done at all. We saw Kenyon Drake in 2019 really explode down the stretch of the season after being traded from the Miami Dolphins to the Arizona Cardinals, but we did not see a similar flash in the pan for him in 2020. So maybe if James Conner is able to stay healthy, he will actually have the job. I don't think any of these guys, fantasy football-wise, will be drafted high enough to where if you take the risk and they fail, you'll be super pissed off. So I think both these guys will be very interesting for fantasy this season, but overall, I think I would lean to like James Conner more than Chase Edmonds, but again, with the injury history of Conner, Chase Edmonds is definitely a solid pickup, even later now, due to the James Conner addition to the team, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about James Conner joining the Arizona Cardinals. Let me know down below. I love you guys all. Goodbye!